I'm James Neville Taylor with the Builder All team. In this video, we're going to create a regular email broadcast. A regular broadcast email is a one time email which is sent out to either your entire list or a portion of your list. And it's one email that goes out at a certain time when you schedule it to send. Unlike an email sequence which gets triggered when someone performs an action or subscribes to your list. Regular emails are great for making announcements or sending out time sensitive information. So to create a regular email, we go into our campaigns and we click email regular and then create new and then we're going to name our campaign and the types regular don't select a sequence because it's a regular campaign choose the list that we want our regular campaign to go out to then we can select a segment if we want to send our email to just a portion of our list we can choose to send the email out to only people who are within a certain lead score so we can set up lead score for when someone clicks on a link or opens a campaign they get a certain amount of lead score. And then here we can see the tags that are available for the list. There's none for this list, but if you'd set up tags for when someone clicks a certain button or takes another action, they would show up here. And then you can select to only send to subscribers with these certain tags. So everything here is just choosing the subscribers that you want to send the email broadcast to. And when you're happy with who you want it sent out to, just click save and next. Then you're going to choose the from name so this is who it's going to appear from in their inbox the from email emails that we've verified are the only ones that we can select the address that we want them to reply to and if you don't want them to reply you can just simply put no reply at yourdomain.com and then you can have it to their certain name so if you've got a first name you can click first name and then it's going to show up to their first name instead of to their email address and then you can enter your subject line you can choose the available tags there as well if you want to personalize it. So if I put hello F name, that's then going to go hello and then the name of your subscriber. So when you're happy with that, click save and next. Now we're going to actually edit the emails. Builderall's mailing bus allows you to create really stunning emails really easily. So as you can see, they're in content blocks. So here we have a text block. And here we have a line break block. This is the most important block of all. You must have your company full address and unsubscribe URL at the bottom of every email or they won't send out. So you can see blocks that you can add here. So you can just simply grab and drag and then you've got two images or two text blocks or any other kind of block that you want to add. So you can double click inside to edit any of the blocks or you can click the little pencil icon to edit. Inside the editor, you can see there's a bunch of different editing options. So you can really make your emails unique, stunning, and highly converting. Just bear in mind that pretty and fancy doesn't always sell. I've found a simple text email, maybe with a picture, and your logo on works best. So you can easily move your blocks around simply by picking them up and dragging them to where you want them to go. So as you can see, it's really simple and really easy to create beautiful looking emails. If we scroll down here, you can preview exactly what your email looks like when it's going to send out. And then you can edit all of the colors and text colors for your emails as well. So here you can change the whole background color. And here you can change the whole body color. And here you can change the whole font of the entire email. And then you can change the individual content blocks as well. There's tons of different content blocks you can add. You can add a heading to the top of your email. You can add text blocks, images and buttons. You can also add elements side by side in twos and threes. Once you're happy with how your email looks, simply click save and next. And now you simply need to choose when to send it. Choose the date that you wish to send and the time that you wish to send. And then you can click to check your spam score to make sure that you haven't got any spam words and the likelihood of it hitting the inbox. And then when you're ready to send, just click save and activate. And then your email will send out at the specified time. Once your email has been sent, you can have a look at the overview and it's going to tell you all of your stats. Once your campaign has sent, you can click the overview and it's going to show you all the stats for your email. Because it's not yet sent, you can't see the stats. So I'm going to click on one that's already sending or sent. 
So you can see how many emails were successfully sent, the open rate, the click-through rate, the bounce rate and the unsubscribe rate and all the cool info that goes with that. And then below you can see more information and the whole campaign overview. For your regular email this would be regular type and then all the information for your email. So in this video we went over how to set up a regular email broadcast.